The hashtag Team Trees is trending after Mr. Beast led what may be the largest collaboration ever on YouTube, a fundraising goal of planting 20 million trees by 2020. But why should we stop at 20 million? What if we convinced the world's billionaires to help us plant a larger number, enough to cancel out two-thirds of all CO2 emissions from human activity? How many extra trees could planet Earth take to replace what we're losing every year from deforestation? We're a science channel that covers academic studies. Subscribe for videos like this. Researchers at the Crowther Lab, ETH Zurich, and the UN answered these questions in a recent paper. Using AI, they mapped potential tree coverage around the globe from measurements made by hundreds of people on the ground, combined with satellites. They found the planet can currently support 4.4 billion hectares of tree canopy. That's about 11 billion acres. When we exclude existing tree cover, farmland, and urban areas, there's room for an additional 900 million hectares of trees to be planted. This would be enough space for 1.2 trillion new trees using conservative estimates. Let's dig into the data. Six countries, Russia, the US, Canada, Australia, Brazil, and China have room for over half of this reforestation. Professor Tom Crowther told The Guardian, a global tree planting program could add a trillion trees for about 300 billion US dollars. The easiest way to do this would be to give tax breaks to landowners who plant trees on their property. Or, the world's top 10 billionaires could pledge about 40% of their net worth and pay for it themselves. And they'd still have $440 billion left over between them. So say we fund a global coalition to plant trees. Where should we plant them? In America, Texas, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, and Tennessee have the most room for additional forests, as seen here. Near Chicago, for example, American elm, white oak, and black cherry make the most sense. But it's not just the U.S. that can get in on the action. Large areas of land in the U.K. and Ireland also have room for new forests that don't interfere with farmland. Along with Siberia, Madagascar, and the east coast of Australia should also be in focus. And keep in mind, these estimates don't include growing trees next to crops like coffee and berries, so we'd have even more room there. So if you're not excited yet, here's why you should be. The beautiful thing about this strategy is it buys us more time. It would take several decades for the forest to mature, but once they're old enough, those 1.2 trillion trees could store 205 gigatons of carbon. Mankind has increased atmospheric carbon by about 300 gigatons since the Industrial Revolution, when we account for what's already been stored by oceans and land. We're adding an extra 10 gigatons and losing 10 billion trees per year. So the sooner we expand the Team Trees movement to the Trillion Trees movement, the better. Visit teamtrees.org in the video description and share this with your friends, especially the billionaires you know. They can help us get to a trillion much quicker.